versus Meza over there. And um, Meza just, oh, Meza just lost. That's insane. Yo, what is going on? <laughs> what just happened? All right, well, in any case, let's, do, let's go into this um, round one. Lucario, I actually, this is a matchup I don't see often, so I can't exactly tell you how I think it'll go. Yeah. But I do know that God of War is a fairy type, so the steel type attack from Lucario, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is Lucario is actually, he's a lot less popular than I thought it would be, and that hurts. I feel like Lucario is only popular because of how basic he is. No, like I'm saying he's not that popular. No, that's what I'm saying. He's only not he's not that popular because of how basic he is. It's like how you don't pick Mario and Mario Kart. Yeah, but a lot of people pick like Ryu and Street Fighter. Well, you're right. I mean That was actually a really nice use of Dragon Punch right there. What is it, extreme speed? Extreme speed, yeah. Oh, Q Bone was gonna try to grab for the grab. Uh missed it. It's on a nice idea, but you cannot be going for a grab when they're still in hit stun. It does not work that way. I feel like Lucario, oh, took the hit from the Bone Club. Up. Close range super. The Fairy Tempest coming through. This might just take out um, Deku right here. I was, I did not expect Bone Rush to count as a light attack. Yeah, Pokemon attacks do count as a light attack. Light attack. The only strong attacks are the strong attacks. Not all, poke no, not all Pokemon attacks are light attacks. Really? No, like Weavon's Ice Punch is a strong attack. Oh, all right, well then shut me up. <laughs> I did not know that. So I guess it's just learning the characters. Right now, Gardevoir is just putting up that... Ooh, stepped a, up just a pixel too close. He tried to capitalize on the barrier, but that is a counter. You cannot get inside of that. Oh. That thing is punishable on whiff. Yeah, but Deku um, Deku's being a little bit too aggressive. Honestly, I see the barrier coming out a la, oh, a la Shaman Lure's um, overheat. Well, when your opponent's being too aggressive, you just drop that, and it's pretty good. The thing is, though, barrier pushes your opponent out and doesn't give you a debuff, so jeez. All right, Emoga lowers the speed of Gardevoir. Bar um, barrier is a um, it is a counterattack though, so it can be grabbed out of. Remember, it can, but it pushes you up. That's strange. The prop properties of um, Bar Gardevoir's barrier is a little weird. In any case, the grab um, knocking him back in the dual phase. I think that this is where Lucario is going to shine more. Close range dual phase definitely seems to be yeah. favoring Lucario more than Gardevoir. Mm -hmm. But in field phase, Gardevoir has all the tools to evade the incoming aura spheres, apply pressure with her projectiles, the magical leaf, and the follow up for that. And Lucario right now is doing a great job of approaching. You see him, that looks so slick. This is smooth. Just quickly, um, just quickly weaving in and putting up the guard. Quickly closing the gap between him and Gardevoir. Ooh, nice, nice. All right, so they had the Mega Evolution from D-Curve. This is Desperation move. I'm surprised that, uh, oh, that was real smart. I'm Challenging it. Surprised that d not going into burst mode right here. Oh, oh this is going to be, he's fine, he's fine. Yeah, unfortunately for D-Curve, he, he got, he Ooh. hit the shield. Oh. It was a nice idea. He definitely thought that Cubone was going to bring him back towards him, but um, just, Calculated the. This is one oppressive Lucario. Yeah, he hasn't even gone into his mech. Oh, there we go. See, now D Curb is in a horrible position. There's, there's nothing in his favor right here. Th that was it. There was nothing in his favor. Deku takes the first game with Mega Lucario looking really solid. Look at Lucario right there. All right, so we're going to be um, having an immediate run back. We're going to have a, a change of support. Nope. We are running back into this. All right, back to Ferrum Stadium. Ferrum Stadium just being the most basic stage on here. I would love to use the other stages that are in Pokemon Tournament, but anybody trying to get caught in a disadvantaged stage um, on random after you lost a set, like, that's horrible. You do not want to get caught in that. But it has something that's just basic. Well, it's mainly because of Dark Coliseum. Well, yeah, you're right. But I'm also saying, like, when you're in a tournament, you don't want to get caught in a, on a disadvantaged stage after you lost the first set. Yeah, that's definitely true. Like God of War. I Yo, mean, look at that. Look how much damage that does. Let me look up the frames on that. I just, just constantly applying the pressure. Oh, is he going to catch him? He does catch him on the back end, but not able to capitalize. Goes into the, uh, I, I don't know what you call that. When you're, invincible, when you're invincible, you have to be knocked into the air, but then you jump out of it. Oh, that's um, just you're in a tech. Is that a tech? All right, well, teched out of it. Dang, that move, that move does so much damage. It's only negative four on block. What are you talking about? His uh, 
force palm. Oh, okay. The little yellow sphere, his 4A. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Lucario's a really basic character. Once he gets um, towards you, then he's doing damage. And he um, has Aura Sphere, so he can have a projectile game as well. Albeit not as strong as most other characters, but it does exist. Nice. Really, really relying on Bone Rush. I want to see D-Curb starting to realize that, hey, this is how he's approaching when he gets to that mid-range. He's just going in for Bone Rush. That was nice. That was nice. It's good, good block there. Yeah, but once again, like, you... Oh, Emoga smacking Gardevoir in the face. But yeah, once again, using the burst attack. Whoa, still in hit stun. That's a shame. But yeah, trying to use the um, burst attack as an emergency switch and still losing so much damage. Deku just clearly understands how to approach when he needs to approach, how to use his synergy gauge. The understanding of the game in Deku's favor is insane. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, um... I, I need him to stop relying on that move. It's not working. Deku's not allowing the distance to be there to where that attack from Gardevoir is going to work. And this just might hit. No, he was nope. able to put his short shield up just in time. But still, look at all this pressure he's applying. That's it. He went for the grab. That's insane. It was just hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. Yeah, I was surprised he went for the grab. Um, I would imagine if he wanted to do something, he would have gone for the counterattack. I mean, possibly, yeah, especially with the burst attack being whiffed. But still, that one just hurt.